Welcome. This is my third video on the FL Sun 3D printer, and I'll put a link below to my playlist where I have parts one and two. Part one is where I assembled it, part two is where I did the calibration procedure, and this one I'm going to be doing the first print. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of this printer, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So as I said in the previous videos, I'm new to this, so this is from the viewpoint of a beginner. So I had a little debris on my build plate, so the first thing I'm going to do is clean it with some alcohol. Pulling off this yellow stuff. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it doesn't need to be on there. I did look this up and someone said you are supposed to clean this with alcohol. Okay, I think I'm going to call that good for now. When I peeled off that plastic, there was a part, it looked like something scraped into it and left a little adhesive from the plastic on the build plate. So I've inserted the micro SD card and I'll put some video in of that. It's very simple, it's right next to the switch. Next I'm going to turn the printer on and I'll start preheating the build plate. So I have this on, I'll hit the preheat button. I'm going to choose PLA. It looks like this is heating up right now. I think the top one is the extruder and the bottom one is the bed. It says it's 30 of 50 degrees, I think is what that is. So I'm getting 88 Fahrenheit and 31 Celsius on the bed. It says when the nozzle reaches 200, insert the filament. So I have that in the package here. I'll open this up. I have a free end of the filament right here, and I'm going to cut that at an angle. Like so. So now I'm going to feed it into the extruder. I can't get a good camera angle on that. So I'm going to rotate the 3D printer around. It's probably best to not move it after you calibrate it. So I draped the filament over the holder. I'm going to insert this in here. So I should be able to pull this back and place the filament down there. So I had to bend this just a little bit to get it to work. So I have it started in there. So I'll turn this back to where it was and then I'll feed it all the way down until it comes out the nozzle. Okay, I have filament coming out of the nozzle. It was black at first. I assume that was for testing of some sort and now it's white. I'm going to take my scraper here and I'll just knock that off. That's my first 3D print. Okay, so it's still coming out. So I'm going to so I'm going to hit the back arrow here. Then I'll go to print and then I'll tap this test knurling and I'll say confirm and I think it's going to start at some point now. Okay, it was waiting for the bed to get up to temperature. So I have my GoPro set up to do time lapse. I'm going to move that out of the way for now. There's a better shot of it printing. I could potentially do some adjusting on this, but I don't have enough experience to know exactly what I should adjust, so I had to start with something. It looks like it's sticking, which is good. You want the first layer to be good for the rest of them to be good, but you can do adjustments to bring that up or down a little bit.
Okay, so I'm going to put the GoPro back on here. I'm going to stop my video and I'll let the GoPro take over. And then I'll come back when this is finished or something has gone wrong, hopefully after it finishes. I just wanted to shoot a short clip of the screen right now. So it says operation test underscore knurling dot G code. It has a progress bar, so it's at 13%. We see that the extruder is at 210 degrees Celsius. The hotbed is at 69 or 70. The fan is 255. I don't know if that's the speed or not. And we've been going 25 minutes. And the Z is at 4.45. Then if I hit option here, has some things here like temp, change, more. Let's hit more. Here we can change the fan, speed, the Z rise, Z down, and go back. I'm not going to mess with this on my first print. So I'll go back to here, and I'm not going to touch it until it's done. Okay, so we're 99% done. It's been printing for two hours, one minute, and 37 seconds. The Z height is just under seven centimeters. And here we have it down here, printing. So I have the GoPro and the light set up on it. Thus far, it looks really good. So I have to wait for this to completely cool before I take that off of there. So. When this is done printing, I'm just going to leave it for a while, probably go have some lunch, and then I'll come back and check on it. And I have my little laser thermometer. Right now we're at 152, that's probably the bed. The bolt's at 121, or 50C. So this should be done any second now. Okay, there we go. So that 100% still said 99 until it parked up here at the top. I assume that's because there's G-code that tells it to go up all the way to finish off. And the part is finished.
So I assume this turns off the extruder. Looks like it here. So we have the hot plate is at 66. So the second number is the target. So we're at 66 out of zero and on the extruder we're at 181 out of zero. So everything's cooling down. So I'll come back in a little bit to check on this. Okay, so I let this cool down for a bit. I don't know exactly how long, maybe a little less than an hour. So I left this running. I don't know if that's the best practice. I'm going to turn it off now. So by leaving it running, the fans were cooling this down, at least the parts of the printer. So I don't know if that's best practice or not, but I just did it. If you know, leave a comment below, please. So I got my little temperature gun out. I checked the temperature. We're at 23 degrees Celsius, and the display also said it was at 23 to 24 for the plate and for the nozzle. So this should be ready to remove. Let's see if this comes off. Okay. They both seem to be stuck down pretty good. That knurling is pretty effective because <laughs> it doesn't feel great. Now I could probably push on this. I don't know how strong that is. I'm going to try the tool they gave me even though it doesn't seem very sharp. I'll see if that'll... can't say I love that. I don't really want to scratch the bed, so I'll put this piece of paper down and then see if I can use this to take it off. So prying hasn't worked so far. I'm going to try dental floss. So this is the glide floss from Crest and it doesn't fray really bad. Okay, so that didn't help. So I've heard you can use some rubbing alcohol to get these off, so I'll try that. I'll just put a little, actually on this one, I'll put a little in the middle. Try some around the outside too. Ah, I put quite a bit on there, it's probably too much. Okay, I got the one off and the other. So here are the parts. This is the nut and this is the bolt. This has a little black on it. That might be because there was some black filament in there prior and I didn't have that flushed out quite enough. Let's try and put these together. That's a little tight. I'm, I'm going to start at this end. The threads are probably slightly better. So it's binding up here just a little bit. There was kind of a blob on there, so I can probably take an X-Acto knife and clean that up just a little bit. I think that'll thread better. The knurling on it looks great. You can see that here. It feels like metal knurling wood. It, it probably feels even better in some ways. I mean, it's very grippy. So I like that. This is my first 3D print, so I'm not going to test how strong it is. I imagine I could break this if I tried hard enough. So almost everything went smooth. This took a little over two hours to print. Taking it off was hard. It seemed like the alcohol did the trick. I probably will get some in a spray bottle so I can just spray it on there, just little bits. And then I wiped it up right away so it wouldn't... I don't know if it would dissolve this plastic or what, but there we go. So video number three is in the bag. So we did the assembly, the calibration, and then we did our first print. So I was just using the starter filament it came with. I have more filament coming later this week, so hopefully I can do some other projects with this. I mean, there's a huge world to explore with 3D printing, so I want to make videos to show my progress on it, and then other people can follow along. So if you have any questions or suggestions too, please leave those in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.